Okay, now I'm going to lead here. I'm in some little town called Rego, Rego Bela. It's kind of by Vigo, which we're on our way to Santiago de Compostela. Now, if you're looking to buy tickets, you know, you can buy your tickets on the train lots of times. That's not a problem. You should just cost a little bit more, and you might not be able to use your ATM card and stuff like that. So, best to buy it at the station. Here, you're going to go to the Vinda de Vieta. Vinda de Vieta. That's where they sell tickets. Right. Now, if you look on the sign, you see two two kinds of letters. You see Venta de Vietis and Venta de Vietis. Because here in Galicia, they speak two. They speak another language. They speak Spanish and they speak Galicia. Okay, which is very similar. It's kind of a mix between Spanish and Portuguese. Okay, um, but when you're at the train station, you know, you're going to still have Spanish everywhere. Even if it's in Catalan, uh, in Barcelona, where they speak Catalan, they're still going to have Spanish there too. Now, you buy your ticket to Venta de Vietis. Okay, Vietis. Our tickets, billetes. So you go there and say, Quiero un billete a Santiago. I want a ticket to Santiago. Quiero un billete a Santiago. Quiero un billete a Santiago. Now, if you want just one way, you say, Ida. Ida, if you want to return, you say, Ida y vuelta. Okay? Now, when you're at the stations, you know, they're going to have cafeterias and little things, so you can buy some food to take on the train. Because a lot of times you're not going to be on the fancy Ave trains. The Ave trains here in Portugal, or I'm sorry, in Spain, are the very fast trains. Okay, those are like the TGVs in France. But lots of times if you're going to Santiago or Tarragona, things, you're not going to have the fast trains. You're going to be on the slow trains. Okay, and on there, there's usually not food. You know, it has the toilets where you can see the ground passing by below you. Anyway, so let's go to the plataformas, because you want to go where the tracks are. Plataformas. Now, here on the platform, you know, usually you're going to have a couple places to sit. See ya. See ya. Places to sit. But in general, you always, I mean, those people are leaving their stuff there. That's not a good idea. Okay? Well, here in Redonda Love, there's nobody here, so it's okay. But when you're in Barcelona, Sant, Madrid, Atocha, Chamartin, do not leave your stuff unattended, ever. Okay? People steal the stuff all the time, so just be careful. Now, if you're asking where's my, what track I'm on, Plataforma is like the platform, okay? But the actual track is the via. Via. So you say, qual via? Qual via? Which track? Qual via? Okay? Now, arrivals, when you arrive, it's llegadas. Now, in Spanish, remember the double L's make the ya sound. So, llegadas. Llegadas. You'll see it on the board, llegadas. And then, departures, which is what you want because you're going somewhere, those are salidas. Salidas. Okay? Now, when you go to the station, they're going to have the boards up, and they're also going to have usually pieces of paper, pieces of paper, posters up that have the train times. And that'll be on there. It'll show you all the stops that are on the train. You know, it leaves at 12.20, it arrives the next place at 12.25, 12.35, things like that. So you have a rough idea. Now, on the trains, they don't usually don't announce the train, the next stop. You have to look out the window. So if you're not sure, you know, make sure you know your times, follow the times, and also sit near the front of the train so you can see when you enter into a station what the name is. Okay? Because a lot of times, you know, they don't have too many. Here we have Redondola. Okay? But sometimes you don't get a chance to see the signs, so really pay attention. Okay? Um, yeah. So that's all I kind of want to say. Uh, I hope you have a nice trip on the trains here in Spain. Uh, we're in Redondola on our way to Santiago, so we'll see you there. Ciao.